Hi everyone, I'm Patrick and this channel is all about Python and machine learning. So as you might have heard, Heroku stopped offering their free tier, so I thought now is a good time to look into other hosting options. So in this video, I present you 14 different options that you can use to host and run Python scripts and apps. Most of them are free. So I didn't order this based on any rating or personal preference. Instead, I divided this into three different categories. And by the way, you can also find this on my website at python-engineer.com. So the first five options are one-click solutions. So these are cloud or infrastructure platforms as a service that make it really easy for you to deploy your apps. Then we have five cloud server options. So if you want to have a private Linux machine or VPS, and then we have also four hidden champs that you might not have on your radar, but that you can also use to host Python apps. So let's go over all of them together. The first option is render that you find on render.com. And here it says render is a unified cloud to build and run all your apps and websites with a bunch of cool features. So for example, you can instantly deploy this from a GitHub repository. Here you select your type, then you select your repository and the branch, and then you say git push, and then it's live. So it's really as simple as this. And uh, it supports all kinds of apps. So you can run web services there like a Django or Flask app, of course, also for other languages and frameworks. Then you can deploy static sites, background workers, cron shops, Docker files, databases, and private services. And let's quickly look into pricing. So most of the plans start at zero dollars a month. Also the services. So this is what you want for a Flask app, for example. And as you can see, it starts for free and the next startup plan starts at seven dollars a month. So pretty cool. The next option is data that you find on data.sh. It's also a cloud platform that makes it really easy for you to deploy your apps. Here it says it's the cloud for doers and dreamers and they say data is free forever. I think because they work on a separate product that they intend to monetize, but this one should be free forever. And the way it works is that you install the CLI and then you can say data new and deploy your apps. And what's also cool is that they are a sponsor of Fast API. So there is a guide how to deploy Fast API on data on the official Fast API docs. And the way it works is you have your app and then you also need the CLI and then say data login and data new. And that's basically all you need. So also a pretty cool option. The next one is pythonanywhere.com. It was recently acquired by Anaconda and it is a pretty well-known service in the Python community because it's been around for quite a while. It doesn't look very fancy, but it's a very reliable service that is also easy to use and it simply gets the job done. You can also get started for free. You get one limited account for one web app at a domain that is under your username.pythonanywhere.com. And if you need more power and also a custom domain, you can upgrade, for example, to only $5 a month. So this is also a very cool service. Next, we have Railway that you find on railway.app. And I haven't tried it myself before, but I've heard a lot of good things about it and it looks pretty cool. So it's also a cloud deployment platform that should get you started in no time. So here, if you click on start a new project, you can either deploy this from GitHub, for example, or you can select a template. They provide a lot of different templates for different frameworks. Here, for example, we see Fast API and Django. So this should be super easy to set up. And if we have a look at pricing, then the startup plan is completely for free, even without a credit card. And even the developer account with more power is still free under $5 a month. And then you can scale this up if you need more power. So I think this is pretty cool. And I might try this as the next platform for my next project. And then we have Heroku, of course. So in the beginning, I mentioned they just ended their free tier, but I still include them here. They are still one of the best known cloud application platforms for developers. Their infrastructure is still pretty reliable and it's easy to use. There was, however, a security breach this year, which was a bit unfortunate, especially how they handled this. Uh, I can put a blog post below so you can read about this yourself. Also right now, if we go to pricing, they say flexible pricing options, but actually nothing other than that here. This is a bit weird, but like I said, their infrastructure is still pretty good. So you can make your own choice if you still want to use this or not. 
So yeah, these were the five so-called one-click solutions I wanted to show you, or also the cloud infrastructure platforms as a service. If you want to use a different approach and want to have your own private Linux server or VPS, then here I have five other options for you. So let's quickly go over them. We have Hetzner, pretty reliable. They are, the company is based in Germany. Then we have DigitalOcean and Linode. So I think they are pretty similar. Also from the pricing, they should be almost the same level. You can check this for yourself. Then we have, of course, AWS. So for sure, it's the biggest player with the most complex infrastructure. But if you know your way around in the ecosystem, it's pretty great. And then, of course, we have also Google Cloud. So yeah, here you can get $300 credits for free. Also, um, AWS has a free tier if you get started with this for the first time. So yeah, check them out yourself and compare them. I will. I can do a different video if you want this, then let me know in the comments. And yeah, now let's look into four more hidden champs. Now I have four more options for you that you might not have on your radar because not a lot of people know that we can use these websites to run and host our Python scripts and apps. And the first one is Replit. I'm actually a big fan of Replit. They have a pretty cool product. So at the core, it's an online IDE where you can write code and then test this and also share this. But you can also use this to host a Python app. So if you click on pricing in the free plan, you get unlimited public repls. So they call this here a repl. And then everyone can also see your code and then try this. But if you upgrade to the hacker plan for $7 a month, you also get unlimited private repls. Plus you get these five always on repls. So here you can host anything and keep it running. And this is especially cool because then you don't have to worry about deploying at all. So you simply code your web app here, for example, and then you click on run and then this is running all the time. And these always on repls are actually pretty reliable. So you can then essentially use this to host a web app. And this is pretty cool. Next, we have GitHub. Yes, you can use GitHub to run Python scripts for free. You cannot use this to run web apps or other apps that need to be on all the time. But you can use this to schedule these one off scripts that run once and then are done. And then you can even run this and schedule this multiple times a day. And the way it works is with GitHub Actions and a cron schedule. And for this, I actually created a tutorial before on my channel that I can link somewhere here. I also created this starter template on GitHub that you can check out. So it's also not too difficult to set up. You simply create this GitHub action. And in this case, it relies on a cron schedule. So here you can specify whenever this should run. And then later here, you specify what you want to run. And in this case, we say Python main.py. And this is the main.py file that we upload in the repository. And then here we can basically implement whatever we want. And then we can run this for free. And the free GitHub plan um, offers 2000 minutes per month. Most of these actions take less than one minute, so you can run multiple scripts multiple times a day for free. And this is a super cool option to schedule Python scripts for free. Then we have Hugging Face Spaces, which is intended to deploy machine learning apps and demos. So most people know Hugging Face because of their Transformers library or the many open source models they provide. But you can also use these spaces to deploy your machine learning app. A space is a special kind of repository that hosts application code for machine learning demos. And those applications can be written using Python libraries like Streamlit or Gradio, or it also works with a static website, but essentially it's right now it's working with Streamlit or Gradio. So if you use this library, then you can easily deploy this here on Hugging Face Spaces for free. And the last one is the Streamlit Cloud, where you can run Streamlit apps. So we've just seen Hugging Face Spaces that work with both Streamlit and Gradle. Here you can run only Streamlit because it's made from the Streamlit team themselves. And everything is all for free. And it's also super easy to set this up when you have your Streamlit app. So pretty cool. And I sometimes use this for personal projects that I want to deploy easily. So yeah, check them out as well. All right, so now you should have enough options to choose from. If you know any other recommendations that we can use, then let us know in the comments and share them with the Python community. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.